Greece considers S-300 systems transfer to Ukraine after missile incident near Prime Minister. Greece is considering transferring its S-300 air defense systems to Ukraine, especially after the missile strike by the Russian Federation on Odessa during the visit of Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis reported army recognition. Greece is reconsidering the issue of supplying its Russian-made S-300 and TOR M1 air defense systems to Ukraine after the Russian military strike near its prime minister during a visit to Ukraine. This reassessment marks a turning point after a Russian missile exploded just 500 meters away from the convoy carrying Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis and Ukrainian Prime Minister Volodymyr Zelensky in Odessa, Ukraine on March 6, 2024, the material rights. Media reports indicate that such a possibility exists if Athens receives a more modern American MIM-104 Patriot system. The material states that Greece is also considering the possibility of transferring the OSA AKM air defense system to Ukraine. While the S-300 and TOR M1 systems are of great interest to Ukraine, as repeatedly stated by President Zelensky, Ukrainians consider the OSA system outdated. Last summer, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited Greece. During his visit, he announced that Athens would train Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets. The head of state also stated that Ukraine counted on Greek air defense systems in the Black Sea. It was later reported that Greece would halt funding for support and maintenance programs for Soviet-era air defense systems as they could be transferred to Ukraine in the future. And it became known that Greece prepares to supply Ukraine with a new batch of military aid. This includes aviation missiles, artillery pieces and ammunition. Greek officials claim that it is precisely ammunition that Ukraine needs the most and that their proposal will help meet the needs of Ukrainians. Greece has informed EU officials responsible for coordinating assistance to Ukraine that they could provide the following aid through Chechia this year. 2,000 Zuni rockets, 180 rockets successfully used by Ukraine in anti-tank warfare and listed high on Ukraine's requests, 90,000 90 mm shells used in anti-tank warfare and air defense, 4 million bullets, 70 M114 155 millimeter howitzers of American production. Она в Т-6. К-2 горит. Britain is engaged in a grey war with Russia, former UK spy chief. Britain is engaged in a grey war with Russia, but neither the authorities nor the public are taking the situation seriously enough. The former head of the famed spy agency MI6, Richard Dearlove, has warned. 
the UK military isn't getting enough money to be able to counter the threats posed by Moscow and Beijing. Richard Dearlove, who led the British Secret Intelligence Service between 1999 and 2004, said in an interview with Politico. The statement followed last week's announcement of the UK's budget for the next financial year in which there was no increase in defence spending. It remains at 2% of the country's GDP. If you stopped anyone in the street here in the UK and asked them whether they thought Britain is at war, they'd look at you as if you were mad. But we are at war. We're engaged in a grey war with Russia and I am trying to remind people of that, the former spy chief said. The British authorities have got to make some tough choices and I'm afraid the tough choices are not in front of us right now. We should be spending at least 2.5% on defence. He insisted, we urgently need to be building more ships. We need a much bigger navy and we need more boots on the ground for God's sake. Dear love stressed, the fighting between Russia and Ukraine has shown the importance of manpower on the modern battlefield, the 79-year-old said. The size of the British Army had been reduced by more than 26,000 since 2006 and currently has just over 74,000 full-time troops. Last month, Kremlin Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov accused the UK of being directly involved in the conflict between Moscow and Ukraine.